What's up, YouTube? It's the Console Samurai with Grown Ups Gaming. And recently, a member of Nintendo's Treehouse, their secretive localization department, um, recently was let go from his position. On August 3rd, he appeared on, I believe it was called the Gamer, or the Part Time Gamer Podcast, where he spoke about localization. And he spoke about games such as the ones from Project Rainfall. But he didn't reveal any new games, he didn't reveal any trade secrets. So it's kind of hard to imagine why he lost his position. Now, as, a, as I mentioned, he did speak about Project Rainfall, and for those of you who don't know what Project Rainfall is, um, Project Rainfall was a grassroots movement to have three titles localized from Japan. All three were Wii titles, and they looked really good, and you know the two I played actually were pretty good. But um, the three titles were Xenoblade Chronicles, Pandora's Tower, and um, The Last Story. Which, I played two of them. I didn't play all three. I played two of them, and they're actually decent. But Nintendo didn't want to localize them because, in their mind, they felt that it wouldn't make a big enough impact here in the West to warrant being localized. You know, they, they felt that they were going to spend more money localizing than they would get back in sales. And they were entirely correct. Nintendo of Europe decided to jump on that grenade, and they took a loss. Nintendo took a loss because the fans really, really, really wanted these games. Not a lot of fans, but a significant number of fans did want these three games to be to be localized for the West. And the low numbers of the fans who actually wanted it were shown in the fact that they took a loss. So Nintendo was right in that. And um, Chris Pranger, the localization employee, or actually I think he was a localization director, uh, he he pointed this out and he said. You know, th this was this was how it went, and this is actually how we found out that Nintendo of Europe took the loss. But he said, you know, no fan wants to hear that. And he didn't use the word insignificant, but he said that nobody, no fan wants to hear that their fan base is not significant enough to warrant a localization of a franchise or a game that they want. And we're not talking about games like Zelda or uh, Mario or Metroid or any of those or. You know, he, he was talking about the smaller titles, the ones that don't really make an impact. And he also talked about how, um, uh, not Iwata, Sakurai, the guy who does uh, Smash Brothers, how dedicated he can be. So he didn't really come out, he didn't trash talk Nintendo, he didn't he didn't give any way, any uh, trade secrets, he did nothing like that. Now, some of, the some of the things I've read did say that he was kind of condescending in his tone, and how he put it, but a lot of places, a lot of the sources I read actually say that he was very plain speaking, you know. So it's really, it kind of really, I think, based it's based kind of on your per perception. But really, honestly, there was in my mind really no reason for him to have lost his position. Now I know that Japanese companies do tend to be very, well, they tend to be very upset when you speak about their company without their approval and he didn't have PR approval to speak but he also at the same time didn't say anything negative and actually defended Nintendo's business practices so I think it's very strange that they actually fired him and I think it's also kinda of sad because he said in an interview that this was his dream job he had worked all his life for this and now it's gone truthfully Localization is localization. So even though he has lost that position, he's not out of a job. He can still go to anime, or he can still go to PlayStation, or he can flip the script. He can go to Microsoft and localize American or English games to Japanese. But I think he does have some options. But still, it does suck that you know he did lose his job. But tell me what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that it was really justified that he loses his job? You know. Or do you think that maybe he should have been reprimanded? And maybe that was. You know, we don't know. Maybe he was reprimanded. Maybe this isn't the first time it's happened, but just the first time we've heard about it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Once again, I am the Console Samurai, and I'll see you around.